plaintiff. Chitara O'Neill says the defendant is her sister and they have a love-hate relationship. Chitara claims the defendant has slept with three of Chitara's boyfriends and she has attacked Chitara on several occasions. Chitara is suing her sister for the assault and car damages. Defendant promise O'Neill insist on the day of the fight, Chitara was the aggressor and she swung at Promise first. Promise insists she simply fought Chitara back in self-defense, and she's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Sir, um, I'm gonna start off by saying, um, me and my sister have a love-hate relationship. We cousins and sisters at the same time, so with that being said, like it makes our arguments and our fights way more unagreeable and way more like vicious. Now, hold on, because I'm trying to really understand what you're saying. <laughs> you sound like you're saying when you all fall out, depending on how you related that day. In other words, I think I'm your cousin today. So it's going to really be something. Be something, basically. And uh, on the next day or two later. We getting along and we, we sisters. As again. sisters. As sisters. You fall out worse. As cousins. As cousins. <laughs> <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, um, she lies on me all the time. She That's not true. She takes stuff from me all the time. Yes, you do. She takes stuff from me all the time, like my clothes, money, shoes, my boyfriends. She is lying. Stuff like, yes, it is I my boyfriend. She slept behind. with three of my boyfriends. Oh, my goodness. She She's slept lying. with my baby father. She oh, slept my with, God. She slept with my ex-boyfriend. She put it on Facebook. It's I, It takes somebody, the judge, it takes somebody to break the chain. No matter what I say to this girl, no matter what I try to do to fix things, everything is always a fight. Everything is always it's, that's how belligerent. It is everything is always vulgar. Everything is always, so what you want to do? You, you, you scary this, you scary that. And I'm tired of it. You saying it's been this way it's, since you all were children? Since, yeah, since we was kids. Well, since she was a teenager coming up. Okay, and she was troubled then as well? Yes, she was troubled then. As far as running, as far as, if I got in judge, if I got in any trouble on my own, it was for things, criminalistic things I did on my own and I did the time for it. It was nothing that I did towards my family. I never took nothing from my family. I never stole nothing from my family. Did she do much criminalistic stuff? She, I mean, she does her own criminalistic things too. And, but, so I don't even understand how she could even sit up here and talk about what I do, but at the end of the day, it got to stop. So if somebody don't say, okay, we got to stop right here and, and make it better for this generation, for this That's generation, right. it's That's going right. to continue to happen. Two Permanent two. cousins. Permanent cousins? Yeah. <laughs> Permanent we sisters cousins. first and then we, we cousins. We sisters first and cousins last. Are you criminalistic too? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. How about criminal? <laughs> no. You're criminalistic or criminal? I, I, I'm, She's a criminal. I'm criminalistic. I had criminal <laughs> characteristic <laughs> traits <laughs> that I do not have anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it's the other way around. You're I don't... criminal. She's criminalistic. No. She's the violent one. Which one, one is the I'm worst? I'm not the violent one. She's the violent one. I just need to know which one is the worst. She being is criminalistic the worst. The or criminal being criminal? Because the criminal is still in the activity. And criminalistic is in recovery. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if you want to say it like that. They've stopped. I get it. Or, all right. I mean, this is new to me. I'm open to new uh, right. phrases and new um, perspectives. I am. I'm really open to it. So um, oh. I'm going to write that down. OK. So <laughs> Criminalistic oh. means you stop. <laughs> dabble. But you dabble in it a little. You still, you still dibble and dabble. <laughs> Criminal means you're active. 24-7. 24-7. Uh, all right. You give me some background, ma'am. Um, first of all, with my sister, it's like she's always accusing me of going behind her. I never you went do. behind her. Let her finish, I never man. went behind her. This one dude, her baby dad, when I was messing with him, she never let me know she messed with him first until after the situation. Then she came out the blue and said she used to mess with him. So if she wanted to make that seem like I messed behind her, then okay. What about the other two? There is no other two. Since she wanted to bring that up, like a month ago, she texted me and told me she was messing with somebody that I used to mess with and he used to come to her house to see me. Since she wanted to bring up 
people messing behind each other. She I did, did that Your to Honor. Me. It was a get back. I it did. wasn't a get back. It was because she did it, it to me three times. No, I did and not. And then I got tired of my mom making it seem like it was all right. Oh, it's been going on in the family for a long time. Y'all just know. It still don't make it no, right. No, it wasn't a get back. Is she always like this kind of a person that wants more for her family? And, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I never as far as, as, far as I don't let y'all stay in my she house. Says she wants to when y'all don't have nowhere cycle. to go, I don't give y'all food. Yeah, okay. I don't give y'all money. Y'all even homeless. down to the cigarettes, asking and begging for cigarettes. This girl before when we just got into oh this fight, this goodness. girl and her kids was just living okay. in my home. I removed her out of my home because instead of her being more positive towards the situation that arose, she put more negativity into the situation than positive. <laughs> so she had to go. That's so BS. how I don't that help is you. BS. She says she wants to break the cycle of the destructive lifestyle that some of the family members live, and I'm impressed with that. And you should be too. Well, the, even if she's lying, at least she's saying what the right. At least she's saying the right thing. Well, you're saying the right thing, I'm not whether you're lying, lying or not. Honor, I like that's hearing. That's the truth. And honestly, all right, we got all that out of the way, and let's get to the car damages and the pain and suffering. Oh, the car damages had. The, well, I'm gonna start with the pain and suffering because that was more recent. Um, I put her out of my home because, of, like I told you, I, I was angry at the fact, and I told her before she left, do not come back to my home without calling first. She's lying. A part of breaking the chain. She did not do She did not do so. She ended up coming to my house without permission. She had my mother call. My mother like, oh, why you don't let her in to get her stuff? Why you don't? Because, mom, she didn't call. I, this is my house. I'm grown. It's the right way that you do stuff. You just don't pop up at people's house unannounced, especially when y'all got bad blood going what on. Happened? This girl came to my house. I'm upstairs bathing my kids. Um, she come in my house. My four-year-old go, Mommy, Auntie Yaya in your house. I, by the time I get to the top flight of my stairs, she's already coming up the stairs bundled up. She goes, do something. Do something. That's not true. The P word. You're P. You're P. Do something. Do something. I'm like, you want me to because I'm used to the being the That's aggressor not, none of that is true. when they do something and then they'll end up calling on me. But I learned my lesson growing up. So I said, OK, I'm going to call the police on you. Oh, you, 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 that's what you're going to do She's anyway. Lying. You scary. So she leaves out. This is how the fight starts. After she leaves out and I lock my door before I can even get back up to the top of the stairs, she's beaming at the door because she hear me still, you know, venting to the people that's in my house. Whatever, come outside and fight. Come up banging on the that's windows. Now, now, mind you, the blizzard had just hit. She break my window. I'm not, it's a blizzard. I'm not going to be able to get nobody out here to fix my stuff. So I open up the door. I tell her, get away from my house. In doing so, now we're on my porch. She ends up swinging. So when she swings, she, I she grab her. When I, you're lying. Are you she, did. As soon as I opened up the door and went to talking, she swung. I grabbed her. We went back towards the, the relic. Uh, the dog, my nephew dog ran and not only bit me, but nipped at her too. But it got me worse because I had no clothes on. Mind you, I was in my pajamas. No, the dog bit her because she was the aggressor. Boom, the dog bit me and you. Oh, it did it. So it ended to the point where me and my sister fighting, her gulging out my face, her biting up my fingers, and me going to the hospital. Let me hear from you on this incident. As soon as I came to the house, she started talking a lot of junk to me. This, I told her I didn't come here for that. About I just what? came about me being in her house. Why would she talk junk about you being in her house? Beefing. We were, we had beefing we were, about what? It was bad blood because that's this is when she had put me out and I okay, had to Okay, so got why my couldn't you have somebody else go and get your things since you had bad blood? Cuz I had got my apartment and I was right around the corner from her, so I just Okay, so you went in with your bad blood and you all started beefing and then what? Okay, I went outside, the door was closed. I heard her talking mm -hmm. about me to her mm -hmm. friends, so I was talking junk outside the door. She came outside, one thing turned into another, we started throwing punches. I was not the first one who threw a punch. All right, let's get to the car damages. Okay, I went to, I ended up going to jail, getting incarcerated. I called home on a, on a jail call. She goes, um, um, you want, I'm going, you know, giving the orders of everything because my house has to be locked up and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So she goes, let me, you know, let me help you. Let me prove to you that I can do the right thing this time. Let me prove to you. So I'm like, okay, I give her the opportunity. I guess why my mother was asleep. She stole the keys out of my you mom. You gave me the key. 
She, I did give you permission, and I didn't give you anything. I was in jail. You told she, me to get your she car. She ended up room? right. She and to park it and give the keys to mommy. You went in mommy purse. You took the no, keys to not. go you to the I store did. to sneak to the store and ended up wedging my car in between the two houses. Was unable to get it out instead of like you know backing it or you know doing the right thing. They just barbarically vroom 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 into my vehicle destroyed. Okay, ma'am, tell me about the car. I did. I was the one who got it stuck. She gave me permission to hold her car down mm -hmm. while she was in jail. Mm -hmm. I was the one who got it stuck, but my brother was the one who pulled it through and put mm -hmm. the, the um, dent in the car. And you say she told you you can use the car as much as you she want. She told me to hold it down for her while she was in jail. Right. And I didn't go in my mom's purse and take anything. Mm -hmm. You think that's holding it down, what you did? Yeah, I don't think so, and you don't either. Then your 2004 emotional distress is for the fight. Because she talks a lot of junk about me on Facebook. I got, um... All right, well, tell me. Talking stuff on Facebook? Like, talking junk about me and saying that I'd be sleeping behind her and all type of stuff. Okay. Never trust me gossiping and talking. Never trust a snake. Did she mention your name anywhere? No. All right, then. She doesn't mention your name, so you can't sue her for something that she never uh, mentioned. All right, so... 3578, and I'm going to grant your judgment for that. Uh, she's admitted to wrecking your car. And secondly, I do believe you with regard to who was the aggressor and who provoked the uh, incident. I believe her version over yours. That's all. Have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Yours and I'm so glad that they finally seen through your lies. Ha ha. Ha ha. Sister, at the end of the day, I'm gonna be the there the for day. her, but will I stick my neck out like I did before, knowing that she's not sincerely going to change? No. It's gonna take a blizzard hitting her in the <laughs> top of her head for me to help her. I'm about to go back to my town and celebrate.